Uh, in the first game, we will have the girls from the Indian Creek Panthers versus the Newton County Theme School girls. They have had a great season so far. Both teams have done very well. Um, the Newton County Theme School girls have really uh, had a much more powerful season, uh, much more successful, but uh, this should be a very close game. Uh, we will be getting started just in a moment here, just shortly, with the introductions of both teams and the playing of our national anthem. So just stay tuned. Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to Homer Sharp Stadium for this afternoon's two Newton County Middle School Soccer and Championship Games. The first game that you are witnessing right now is going to be the Indian Creek Panther Girls versus the Newton County Theme School. And we would like to begin by announcing each of the starting lineups and the reserves. First, beginning with Indian Creek, the visitors. Starting in goal, number 15, Ava Corley. Number two, Sarai Rangel. Coaches, if you could please direct the girls to the center circle and line up parallel to the Coaches, parallel to the sideline, please, facing the stands at midfield, at midfield. <laughs> Number five, Yvette Epperson. Number six, Ella Prosser. Number nine, Jordan Allen. Number 11, Joanna Funes. Number 12, Holly Sears. Number 17, Shelby Moore. Number 22, Claire Ray. Number 33, Gabrielle Rangel. And number 41, Zariah Strozier. The reserves for the Panthers include Victoria Turk, number seven. Number 19, Bridget Epperson. Number 35, Emily Hughes. Coaches, that was all the names I had on my list. Maddie Hall. I don't know who the other one is. Oh, it's Brittany. Brittany Summer. And Brittany Reyes. Thank you very much. All right. And the starting lineup for the Newton County Theme School girls is starting in goal. 
Craig Holyfield, number 73. Number zero, Juliana Ortega. Number two, Jasmine Boney. Number four, Ayana Knights. Number seven, Eris Sellers. Number eight, Lorelai Ortega. Number 12, Marin Pointer. Number 13, Layla Frazier. Number 18, Maddie Lumpkin. Number 33, Sena Daly. Number 66, Catherine Wilbur. And coaches for both squads, for the Indian Creek Panthers, Wendell Johnson and Larry Ivey. And coach pointer for the Newton County Team School Girls. As far as the reserves, we have number 11, Molly Reynolds. Number 14, Bailey Farrow. Number 17, Sophie McCullough. And number 99, Lily Reynolds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you'd please look at the scoreboard. Please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Come on, where are you there? Soccer and volume max. I hope you're ready for a great match between the Indian Creek Panthers and the Newton County Theme School. are calling the players to the midfield stripe to get things organized for the game, figure out who's kicking off first. 25 minute halves, and we should be very, very close to beginning our game.
We've got Nathan and Sam running the camera today. I want to thank the rest of our crew from the Indian Creek video team for Creek TV. Uh, they did a fantastic job this year, and we will be recognizing, th recognizing them throughout this broadcast. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, working with them in the next couple of years and uh, improving our broadcast. We will be broadcasting football games in the fall, so uh, be ready for that. And um, we'll work our way in building our crew. Uh, if you're listening and you're a student and you want to participate in the club, feel free to contact me. We can make sure that that happens and uh, we'll be able to move forward broadcasting basketball games and soccer again next year. And Newton County Team School is about to take the field. Looks like the theme school might be playing a 3-1-3-3 or a 3-4-3. Panthers will be running their typical four-man back diamond formation with three and three. And here we go. Center ref is about to hit the whistle. Keeper is in position. And here we go. Cameramen are going to make sure and follow the ball all the time. So you will not miss one bit of the action today. Newton County Theme School has stolen the ball. And Indian Creek applying pressure. Saved along the sideline, but throw in for Indian Creek. After a drubbing in the first game, and a shot by what? Oh, shot goes wide. I've got my compadre next to he, next to me here, Mr. Gourlay. He's going to be a spotter for me to let me know who is making those shots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign on for that. He says he did not sign on for that. <laughs> and there's a goal kick. Ball is taken by Joanna Funes. She drives, takes a shot. Oh, a great save by Quig Holifield. Return fire, and it goes out of bounds. Goal kick for the theme school. That was taken out of bounds by Zariah Strozier. Number 13, Layla Frazier is going to be taking the goal kick. Nice, easy goal kick back to another player and switches the field over to number two, Jasmine Bonney. Moves the ball upfield. Played at midfield by Yvette Epperson. Foul on Newton County Theme School. Free kick for the Panthers. Soraya is going to take the, Strozier is going to take the free kick into the box. And it is a goal kick once again. Panthers are trying to apply pressure. And that was taken by Zariah and blocked and kicked out of bounds. Throw in for Indian Creek. And 
once again, that's Out of Bounds on the Theme School. Throw in for the creek. Soraya Strozer trying to block off. Oh, throw in. That would be a handball. Free kick for the theme school at midfield. Theme school will make their first foray into Panther territory with this free kick. To the middle of the field. Cleared away by the Panthers. Ella Prosser with some great defense there. And that would be Indian Creek ball on a throw in. Gabrielle Rangel will be throwing the ball in. Indian, uh, pardon, Newton County, Newton County Team School ball. Blocked and a foul. <laughs> Theme school with a free kick. about 25 yards from goal. There's the cross into the box and cleared away by the Panthers. Panthers breaking out. Hmm? Joanna, Funes. Joanna Funes moving out, takes it outside, gets a touch to the sideline and makes, oh, blocked. Free or throw in for the Panthers. That's an illegal throw in. It'll be a throw in for the Newton County Theme School. Upfield, once again, a throw in for the Theme School. The ball is cleared upfield by the Panthers. Ball taken by number 66, Catherine Wilbur. Taking it across the field, switching the field. Gets the ball into the box, and that'll be taken by Ava Corley. Right up the middle of the field. Ball taken by Juliana Ortega, and stolen by Zariah Strozier, but taken back. And the team school breaks in. Wilbur, shot to the box. And cleared wide by the Panthers. And that'll be a throw in for the theme school. Number two makes a cross and clears it to the sideline. Number two was Jasmine Boney with the cross, saved on the sideline. Joanna Funes trying to gain control, makes the pass. And, oh, great block by number 12. That would be Marin Pointer. And it's, once again, a throw in for the theme school. It's in the box, and oh, cleared out by Ava Corley. That was really close, ladies and gentlemen. Megan Str or Zariah Strozer makes her way around, gets past, oh, and just a too strong attack. Oh, she kept it in, well done. And that'll be out for a throw in for the creek.
And driving towards the net is Juliana Ortega, and that'll go out for a corner. Here's a cross, and it's a save by, oh, she let it go instead of covering it, ladies and gentlemen, and Arietta still trying, here's a goal, here's a shot, and deflected for another corner. Ava Corley struggling with covering the ball, we got to make sure. I'm sure the coaches will be telling her that at halftime, that she's to jump on that ball. Theme school lining up for another corner. Lined up at the top of the 18. Here comes the cross. And that is over the goal, not quite sure. That'll once again be out on Indian Creek for a theme school throw in. Wasn't quite sure how that cross could have come over the goal post and not been called out, but it is now once again a corner for Newton County Theme School, keeping the pressure on. We're in the 10th minute of play here. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Substitution, number 99, Lily Reynolds coming into the game. Nope, she is not. Coach waved her off. Here's the cross. Good cross and through the box. The defensive backfield for Indian Creek is now, okay, Strozier pushing it up. One man to beat, there she goes. If she can get the cross in. And we need to have a runner down here for Indian Creek. And that is out on the creek. Throw in for Newton County Theme School. That was off of Prosser. Funis moving the ball upfield. Strozer takes the ball and is going to run with it. She makes, she clears one. Can she clear another? Strozier coming to the goal. Oh, and goes out for a corner. Going in for the Panthers, number eight, Reyes. Brittany Reyes went into the game, and coming out of the game is number crossed by Indian Creek. Cleared out, but Creek has the ball. That's offside on the Creek. That'll be a free kick for Newton County Theme School. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there are 12 minutes left in this first half, 0-0. Zero, zero. And the Newton County Theme School, or sorry, Newton County Theme School versus Indian Creek Panthers Girls Championship game for the Newton County 
Public Schools. There's a move. Joanna Funes drives, takes a shot, and it goes oh. just wide. Oh. Just wide. She probably could have taken a couple of more touches. She was clear of that defender, but she was comfortable on her right foot and just scooted it wide. Goal kick for the theme school. Once again, number 13, Layla Frazier is going to take that kick. Deflected with a header by the Panthers. Cleared outside. That was touched on by number 12, Holly Sears, and out of bounds off of number 12, Marin Pointer. Team school moving the ball upfield. And that was a foul. Free kick for the Newton County Theme School. Cross into the box, cleared away. Oh, handball off of the theme school young lady, and that will be a free kick for um, the Panthers right at the top of the 18, it appears. Just inside the 18. Both teams have had, that's a handball, free kick for the Panther, or for the theme school. Dangerous position for a free kick. Ball is loose in the, in the box. Arietta pounces on the ball, but it's taken outside. Well done by the, Appala or by the <laughs> Indian Creek player, Claire Ray. Joanna Funes working the ball up the sideline. Jasmine Boney was working up against her. Header by Prosser. However, a pointer, it takes the ball and punches it into the box where it'll be picked up by Ava Corley. Nine minutes left in this first half, ladies and gentlemen. 0 0 is the score. The theme school girls finished the season four and one with their only loss to these Panther, ICMS Panther girls. They lost that game four to nothing. Um, however, their goal differential was 25. They outscored their opponent by 25. The Panthers finished the season at three and two uh, with their losses coming against Cousins and obviously the theme school. Soraya Strozier bringing the ball upfield. Makes a pass over to Funes. That's a great through ball to Strozier. Will she get there? She does. She clears the defender. She has one person to beat. She makes, and there's the pass, and it's a tap in. No! Just wide. A tap in for a goal, and it missed. Oh, how unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers have had two chances at going ahead and have not been able to make it happen. Brittany Reyes missed that shot. Panthers are attacking. Reyes attacking the ball, trying to get to it. 
and that's cleared away by Layla Frazier. That went out of bounds. That'll be a throw in for the Panthers. Handball and out of bone. Uh, that should have been off of that. Well, referee did not see it hit her arm. So that's a f throw in for Newton County Theme School. And that's going out. And that will be Panther ball. Waiting for the referee or the AR to give us a signal. Cleared up field. That was received by a Marin Pointer. Panthers trying to get the control of the ball. Unfortunately, Boney takes the ball down the sideline. She makes it clear. Number five, Yvette Peterson shuts her down in the corner. Still working hard, still working hard. She makes the turn, makes the pass outside. Number six crosses the ball into the box. And that is shot wide for a goal kick. Yvette Epperson is going to come in and take the goal kick. Evie lets one go, and there goes, oh, what a move. That's a great through ball. Unfortunately, not controlled by the Panthers. Good shoulder to shoulder, and that will be Panther ball, Panther ball. Strozer going down the sideline. Oh, unfortunate. Theme school throw in. Great defensive play by the Panthers to stop the forward progress. Oh, that went off of a Newton County theme school player, so that ball now belongs to the Panthers. Throw in Panthers. One person to beat. Can she get there? There's a shot and just wide. Panthers are getting their chances on the keeper for Newton County theme school, but have not been able to put it home yet. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. Still zero, zero. Joanna Funes has really had a great first half. She's had her chances, had a few shots. Panthers controlling the ball. That's a great pass in the middle. Funes, oh, just can't get through that. Prosser trying to track down the ball. Following the forward down, that's a... EVP Epperson is going to control the ball and clear it to the sideline. It was kept in, unfortunately. And, oh, Evie Epperson working the ball, working the ball, and out on the theme school player. Theme school moving down. And that'll be cleared to the sideline by the Panthers. And that's going to be a throw-in for Newton County Theme School. Cross into the box and deflected away. And Ava Corley does well to jump on the ball. 
And a great clearing kick to the middle of the field. That was a handball. Yes, thank you. Referee did well to let him play on to see if that would um, be an advantage for the Panthers. Funis is going to let one loose over the top. And there goes Strozer if she can outpace her to the ball. Panthers in the box. Strozer trying to get to the ball. Gets across and scores! The Indian Creek Panthers score first on a goal by Zariah Strozer. Goal by number 41, Zariah Strozer. With a minute and seven seconds left in the first half, the Panthers finally break through with a goal. It is now 1-0 for the Indian Creek Panthers. Great defensive play by the le right back, number 19. That was, I don't have that, I don't have that player's number, unfortunately. Panthers. Probably should have been an illegal throw in, but they let it go. Funes controls the ball, goes down the right sideline. Still in control of the ball. Gets inside the box, gets across. Oh, into the side, nothing with 10 seconds left in the half. And that will probably do it for the first half with the Indian Creek Panthers up one to nothing. We will be back in 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, 10 minutes.
we got about seven minutes left in the half. We just uh, in the halftime activities. Indian Creek Middle School is up one nothing on the Newton County Theme School on a goal by Soraya Strozier. Uh, late in the first half, with about a minute left in the first half, and um, it's not like the Panthers did not have a few opportunities in that first half. Um, we had a, a tap in just missed. We also had Joanna Funes just missed the post to the outstretched, uh, beyond the outstretched hands of the goalie. Um, several, several chances. So uh, hopefully they, the Panthers played a great defensive uh, first half compared to the last time that they played the uh, Newton County theme school. Um, that was just a couple of weeks ago. They uh, they lost a four to one in that game. Actually, it was uh, last Monday, wasn't it, Coach Gourlay? Last Monday, lost four to one to the uh, theme school, and um, they really worked on some things over the last week to try to improve. Uh, they did finish off the regular season. The Panthers did with a ten nothing win over the uh, the Cousins Cardinals. By the way, the game coming up is going to be the Cousins Cardinal boys playing the Newton County Theme School boys for the boys Newton County Middle School Soccer Championship. That'll be coming up right after this game. Uh, at this pace, we should probably be kicking off that game about 6.15. And uh, we're hoping that it is as exciting a game as this one.
All right, we got about 25 seconds before we start getting ready for the second half. We're just waiting on the teams to take the field. The referee has blown the whistle. It is currently it's currently one to nothing for the Indian Creek Panthers. <laughs> My video crew is down there telling me to tell all of our audience what the score is. Have I not been telling you the whole first half? That it was 0-0? Zero, zero? And then with a minute left in the first half, the Indian Creek Panthers scored to make it one nothing. We are switching f sides of the field for the second half. The Panthers will be going from right to left and the Newton County Theme School left to right. And we're just waiting here for the last couple of seconds. And the officials have switched sides of the field. So we have a new official on this sideline. Number 66, Catherine Wilbur kicking off for the Newton County Theme School. Panthers forward the ball into Newton County Theme School territory. Ball is taken down by Funis, taking it to the sideline and out of bounds. Throw in for the Panthers. Funes receives the ball, turns, gets the ball to the box, but that'll be covered by the keeper, Quig Holyfield. <clears throat> Funes takes the ball from Holyfield, moves to the inside, gets to the box, clears the defenders, takes a shot, and it's a goal! The Panthers take a two to nothing lead on a goal by Joanna Funes. Indian Creek goal by Joanna Funes, number 11. Panthers have now taken a two nothing lead early in the first half. We are in the first 43 seconds of the second half. So this is the 26th minute of the match. Kickoff by the theme school. Once again, Funes takes the ball. Three converge, but she gets through the defense. She gets down inside, top of the box. She takes another shot. It's safe, but no, it's a goal! And the Panthers take a three to nothing lead. Joanna Funes takes the ball downfield, splits three defenders, and takes it all the way in for the shot and gets the goal. Theme school is reeling now. Down three, nothing. Two consecutive shots within a minute and 13 seconds have upped the Panther lead to three to nothing. Once again, Funes takes the ball away, looks to make a big, oh, great defensive play by the back. Funes controls the ball, however, she has two defenders on her. Prosser moves the ball across, and that's a header by number 12. That would be Holly Sears. Thanks, coach. Good for something. Yes, sir. Trying to clear the ball out of the Panther zone. Funes controls the ball. And she's taken over. Oh, and that's off a theme school. Had to make sure that was off a theme school player. So it's a Panther throw in. Throw into the middle of the field. Prosser can't get control of it. Steps up, defensive. The 66 gets a shot off. That would be a Wilbur. That would be Catherine Wilbur. Gets a shot, and that's saved. Kicked out by Ava Corley. Fortunately, it jumps over Soraya's head, Strozer's head, and but it's out of number 19, and it is a Panther throw-in. 
Once again, Panthers going right to left during this first, this second half, sorry. be a handball. It is now Strozier looking to put the ball into the box on a free kick for the Panthers. Panthers moving up. Theme School is staying high. Ball is towards the box but stopped by the defender. Prosser gets inside there. Keeps moving the ball. The official is in the way. And that ball is taken by Evie Epperson. She'll switch the field. Looking to get the ball over to Joanna Funes, but Funes fights for the ball, gets, gets the defender off the ball, and that would be a throw-in for the Panthers. Stepped in front and of the throw-in, and the Panthers are fighting for the ball. Still working, still working, great body, shoulder to shoulder, oh, called a foul. Wilbur will take the free kick. Boney's moving up on the left-hand side. Panthers are dropping back. Keeping two people high. Three people high, sorry. Funis controls the ball. Oof. Oh, a little bit too strong of a touch. That's a handball. And that'll be a free kick for Layla Frazier. We'll take this kick. Saying the Daly's on the right wing here. But the ball goes to the middle of the field. Strozier will take the ball. Trying to get outside, gets past the defender. Turns back to the inside, still moving upfield. Looking to get around the defender, but Cannot get there. Using her body to get in front of the ball. Gets, takes the ball away from the defender. Cannot get there, but takes it to the left and go to the corner. And that'll be a corner for the Creek. Joanna Funes will take her time to get to the ball. We've got about... 19 and a half minutes left in this second half. Panthers are up three to nothing on two second half starting goals by Joanna Funes within the first minute and 13 seconds of the second half to extend a one nothing halftime lead to three nothing. There's a short kick to Evie Epperson back over to good cross. Panthers trying to get to the ball. It's loose. Oh, the goalie. Oh, it's a... Oh, and it's saved. And it's saved again. And it is cleared by the Newton County Theme School. I am not sure, ladies and gentlemen, how that ball did not go in the net, but we've had that happen a couple of times today. The defender seemed to have cleared the ball off the line. Uh, the AR was out of position, so he could not see if that ball crossed the line. So we're going to have to go with the fact that that was not a goal. Ball turned over by the Panthers. That's going to be a foul and a free kick for the Newton County Theme School. Really good crowd here today um, for this first of two matches. Remember... Right after this game, we'll have the Cousins Cardinal Boys versus the Newton County Team School Boys for the men's championship. Cross into the box, and that is going to go wide. And that is a goal kick for the Panthers. Substitutions occurring. Wholesale substitutions occurring. <laughs> Coach Gourlay, everybody gets to play today? Everybody gets to play today. We're up, the, excuse me, the, the Panthers are up three to nothing, so. Everybody gets to play. 
I promised our friends over at the theme school that I would try to be as impartial as possible during this game. Should have asked for more money. More money. <laughs> and there's a cross. Right on goal. Oh, and it is a corner. It should be a corner. Okay. That, was not, that should have been a corner, obviously. The goalie took the ball out of bounds from inbounds. Do not pass the ball because she is offsides. Funis will take the ball on down. And here's a shot. And it is in the goal! Goal for the Panthers. Increases their lead to 4-0 on a natural hat trick by Joanna Funes. Actually, let's get it straight. It came from Europe well before it ever came over here. So don't take claim for nothing you didn't do. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Gourley. I appreciate that. that yeah, no problem. Set our, sung our, set, set our young bucks straight. I appreciate that. Goal by number 11, Joanna Funes, a natural hat trick. And here we go. That goal scored with 16 minutes left in the, 16 minutes and 45 seconds left in the second half. And that'll be a throw in for the Panthers. So we had a goal with one minute and seven seconds left in the first half. We had a... Legal throw in. Yes, that was an illegal throw in. Uh, for those of you that w don't know the specific rules of soccer or might be curious, illegal throw in usually occurs when a player does not go all the way back over their head with the ball with two hands. Uh, another way is if they lift their back foot as they are throwing the ball in, that would also be an illegal throw in. You'll often see the players drag their feet as they're coming in. Top of the box, top of the 18, that's kicked away. That's And trying to get a shot off, and that is over the goal. More inches, could have been a field goal. So, Coach Gourlay, we had a goal with a minute, seven seconds left in the first half. We had a goal with um, just 13 seconds into the second half. Is that correct? And then another minute later after that. Yep. And then we also just had a goal at 16.45. So, Panthers up 4 nothing, Commanding lead with 15 minutes left in this match. Panthers moving the ball upfield. Two players from theme school getting to the ball at the same time. Uh, number four, uh, Ayana Knights. We haven't called her name out today. She was working her way down the field and was almost able to win that ball. But it is Evie Epperson going to be throwing the ball in. And that'll be another throw in for the Panthers. Funis coming back on the field. Coach Johnson for the Panthers is starting to uh, utilize a strategy of constant substitution so that he can Hold off some time or uh, run off some time off the clock. Funes kicks the ball out and Wilbur will throw in. Throw into the box. A very good throw to the box. It's loose and trying to clear it out of the box. And there it's out of the box. Boy, that was close again. The, the theme school has really had their chances as well. Deep in the box. Oh, and that's a foul on, the, on Boney from the theme school. It's, it was really nice for us to be able to have a soccer season this year. We're hoping that we can get uh, the rest of our Newton County brethren theme schools, or, uh, sorry, uh, middle schools, to uh, play next year. 
Uh, this year we had the uh, obviously the theme school and cousins playing, uh, but we are hoping that uh, Clements and Veterans and Liberty will be able to field teams next season um, as we uh, continue to uh, grow the sport of soccer in Newton County. And that's ball at the top of the box, cleared out. Funes has to come out and get to the ball. She'll take the ball upfield. Oh, and she has stopped, and that will be a foul right there. Free kick for the Panthers. We have Panthers right at the two Panthers right at the midfield stripe. Prosser moving up as well. They don't know. And there is a free ball. Coming down the field is number 24 for the Panthers. That would be Coach, we don't have those we don't have that number again. And that Coach Coach Johnson did not provide us with those numbers. So we are We'd like to uh, thank Coach Robinson from Cousins. He's he's brought Coach <laughs> Coach and I some some dinner. We are very excited about that. Thank you. That Jimmy John's will taste very You're good, welcome. sir. You're welcome. Appreciate all you do. Uh, twenty-four is Maddie Hall. Ah. All right. Twenty-four was Maddie Hall running after that ass ball down the left wing, you folks. Know, All right. Throw it. Oh, something happened there. Prosser threw the ball in. Referee blew the whistle. Nobody was paying attention. Looks like the Panthers are changing goalies. Strozier is, Strozier is actually going in goal, it appears, having a goalie substitution. And we have a stoppage of the clock with... 10 minutes and 52 seconds left in this second half. Panthers are leading the Newton County Theme School 4 to nothing on a natural hat trick by... I'm drawing a blank. Number 41. No. no. 11, Joanna Funes. Thank you, yes. Coach. Yes. Uh, we did have an injury for, to number 19 on the field for the Newton County Theme School. Uh, she has come off the field. Um, I don't see that number on my list. So Funis will throw the ball in. Strozier is now in goal for the Panthers. Ava Corley is probably going to move into the rotation so that she can get some time upfield. Funis with the throw. Sure did. And there goes Prosser getting after the ball. She throw. Oh, and... That's kick, and she cannot pick that up. Otherwise, it is a free kick. Oh, and that's a foul, but not called. It was shoulder to shoulder, apparently. Moving the ball upfield, and that ball is going to roll out for a Panther throw. A Panther throw. Hey, only 10 minutes and 25 seconds left in this second half of the championship game for Newton County th Middle School Soccer. Panther girls, that is the Indian Creek Panther girls are leading the Newton County Team School girls four to nothing. And Boney moving the puck, uh, moving the ball upfield. Gets a good pass forward. There's a pass to the middle and picked up by Strozier. Strozier is going to run out, roll the ball out, and let one rip right up the middle. That'll be picked up by number 13, Layla Frazier. Moves the ball back into the box, but that ball is going to come outside to the Panthers, and that's going to actually go out and be Panther throw-in. We have some other substitutions for the theme school at this point. At the conclusion of this game, um, 
we have Coach Robinson is going to be down on the field, and he's going to hand out the championship trophies as well as uh, the runner-up trophies. That should be happening in, 19, in about nine minutes. Oh, Joanna Funes takes control of the ball. A little bit too far ahead of her. And now number 17, Sophie McCullough uh, made a big run over to the left side, but was unable to keep the ball in for the theme school. And she clears the ball up once again, trying to hit Wilbur in the middle of the field, but was unable to do don't that. Punch it, don't and punch it, don't punch it. That's going to go out of bounds, and it'll be a throw in for the Panthers. No, it will not. It'll be a throw in for the theme school. That's a good throw in, but it's rolling down, and that'll be centered over. That's taken away by the th theme schools. Oh, Evie Epperson makes a great play, but the ball's at the top of the box, and it's once again cleared out by the Panthers. Good touch by the Panthers. Evie Epperson tries to move up and clear the ball. She'll clear it to the wide side, but no, it's blocked, and Funes will finally get out there. And here is number seven once again. That was Eris Sellers. She's going to clear the ball out to the side, and that will be a Panther throw-in with seven minutes and 30 seconds left in the second half of this championship game. The Indian Creek Panthers are leading the Newton County Theme School girls four to nothing on a natural hat trick by Joanna Funis early in this second half. Uh, the game winning goal right now, however, goes to Zariah Strozier. She scored the first goal to make it one nothing with a minute left in the first half. Panthers are continuing to put on pressure trying to clear the ball upfield. Number 22, which is Claire Ray, is working hard in midfield, trying to make sure the ball stays deep. Unfortunately, she loses the ball. It's going down the left wing to um, Boney, uh, Jasmine Boney. She's going to have a throw in uh, about 25 yards out. Throw is into the box, and that is touched last by... A Panther, so it'll be a corner kick for the theme school. This can be dangerous here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got six minutes and 23 seconds left in this second half. Here comes the cross. It is in the box, and it is headed just wide by the theme school. I believe that was Wilbur that might have gotten ahead on that. Zariah Strozier is going to take the goal kick. No, she's not. She's going to pass that on over. And, yes, it was it was Wilbur that um, got the head on that ball. Uh, single touch cleared wide by the Panthers and out of bounds. Good, solid defensive performance by the Panthers today. Wilbur for the throw-in into the box deep there's an opportunity and it is and it was a handball for a stop the clock for a penalty there is a there will be a PK for the Newton County theme school this could be an opportunity to blow the clean sheet. Zariah Strozier cannot leave her mark until the ball is struck. She has to stay on her line. She's going to, here's the kick, and it is a goal! By number... Number two, right? Yeah. Number four? So what? That's what they said. Who? No. They said it was four. 
Goal scored by number two, Jasmine Boney. And we have a four to one score now. The Newton County Theme School is pushing their way upfield once again, and the Panthers are playing good defense by kicking the ball out and forcing a throw in. We have um, five minutes left in this championship game. It is currently four to one for the Indian Creek Panthers. The cross comes in to the top of the box. However, number four touches the ball and it's saved by Zariah Strozier. Funes takes control of the ball, looking to try to split two more defenders. There she gets one. She'll beat the second one. And she has a break now. Is she going to dink it over the top? And she scores! Joanna Funes with her fourth goal of the match with four minutes and 29 seconds left, 26 seconds left in the match. It is now five to one Panthers. Coach Gourlay votes for <laughs> Coach Gourlay votes for Joanna Funes as MVP for the match. Coach, I'd have to say she would definitely get the ball in my book. Okay. So here we go. I'll just be following your direction out there to the middle of the middle or what? We are Four minutes and ten seconds or so away from the conclusion. Oh, that's a foul. And that will be it'll be a free kick. Stop the clock. We have a stoppage. A yellow card has been issued to number twenty-two. No, it's that. I can I it's can clear, see the right? young lady. It is? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's Claire Ray. So if it is number 22, it'll be Claire Ray. It was Claire Ray. She'll be coming off the field. She has to be substituted off. I don't know. Maybe it was Sarai Rangel. Sarai Rangel. The, the, the yellow card was on Sarai Rangel. Coming on is Prosser. In place of Soraya Rangel, she had to come off because of the yellow card. Here's the cross into the box and cleared away by the Panthers. Funes taps the ball outside and clears the ball downfield. Beyond midfield, we're at three minutes and nine seconds left in this match. Panthers are up five to one. Ball will be thrown in by the Panthers on the far sideline. The Coach Gorelay indicates that both teams are still fighting really hard, which is very true. Uh, the theme school has not given up. They still want to score. Here he comes. Here's a shot. Big save by Quig Holyfield. Big save by Quig Holyfield. Joanna Funes let one go. She would have, that would have been for her fifth. Kicked out by the Panthers. Claire Ray. Two minutes and 17 seconds left in the match. Throw in. Number 12, Marin Pointer moving the ball upfield. She gets to the sideline, and that was out on Panthers. So that should be theme school ball. 
throw in. And the final third of the field. Sets it back up. Gives the ball to Wilbur. Wilbur crosses the ball, but it is, oh, once again, deep into the zone by Wilbur, and that will go out for a goal kick. Coming into the match for the Panthers is Emily Hughes. Tariah Strozier for the goal kick. One minute left in the match. No Panthers wanted that ball. Number, ooh. Number four, Ayana Knight was working the ball in the corner. Gets a great cross in. However, it's back out on the foot, and there's a shot and a save by Zariah Strozier. And she picks up the ball with 38 seconds left in the match. She'll roll the ball out and get it downfield. And number 99, Lily Reynolds, tries to clear the ball downfield, but ends up kicking it out of bounds. 30, 20 seconds left in the match. Joanna Funis. 13 seconds remaining. Funis downfield gets to the box, gets across, shot, and it's goal! With six seconds left, Joanna Funes makes it six to one. Five goals on the afternoon. Joanna Funes definitely has set herself apart from the others today. She has definitely made a name for herself. Coach, do you happen to know where she's going to be going to high school? I do not. I think she's going to Alco. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the match. The Indian Creek Panthers have taken the Newton County Middle School Soccer Championship with a convincing 6-1 to victory over the Newton County Theme School. Congratulations to the Panthers for their decisive win. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, if you please direct your attention to midfield where Coach Robinson has our winning, tr our trophies for the championship. First, we'd like to recognize both teams for a fantastic match today. Congratulations to for a great season to the Newton County Theme School girls and also the Indian Creek Panther girls. Our runners up for this match, obviously, a great match played. We'd like to give the uh, trophy, have somebody uh, meet Coach Robinson out at midfield there from the Newton County Theme School, runners up of the Newton County Middle School Championship. <laughs> Accepting the trophy is Miss Wilbur, Catherine Wilbur from the Newton County Theme School. And your 2021 champions of the Newton County Middle School Soccer Championships for the girls, the Indian Creek Panthers. Congratulations, ladies. We're looking forward to a great 2022 season with the other teams in the league as well. Um, 15 minutes. Well, let's see what I, time is it? Six, oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and put in 15 minutes. All right, we will be back in about 15 minutes for the start of the boys game. Stay tuned. 